Today we're going to be talking about 10 famous Iranian dishes. Okay. What's up Amir Colds? My name is Amir and welcome back to another Talks with Amir video. As you can read in the title down there, today we're going to be talking about 10 popular Iranian dishes. Before we get started with this video, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on if you haven't done so. Alright, so to make this video a little bit more interesting and educational, I'm first going to tell you a little bit about the Persian food history. So let me just get my stuff here. Iran's culinary culture has historically interacted with the cuisines of the neighboring regions including Caucasian cuisine, Turkish cuisine... Okay, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Basically what this Wikipedia article is trying to say is that Iranian food has interacted with Turkish food, Greek food, Russian food and other countries that are surrounded by Iran. So now let's get started with the top 10 Persian foods of 2019. Okay, so the first food is called Khoreshte Fisenjan or if you're Isfahani like me, you would just say Fisenjun. Now I absolutely love this dish. This is probably like one of my favorite dishes. Khoresht basically means stew but with this particular stew or Khoresht, Khoreshte Fisenjan, you make it with chicken. Usually you make it with chicken but it was originally made with duck. You can also make it with lamb and some people in the north of Iran because there's plenty of fish there, they make this stew with fish. And the good thing about this dish is that it's very easy to make but you just have to wait a while for the sauces and the flavor to really develop in the chicken. Okay, so the second food is called sabzi polo. Bah, bah which means yum yum. But yeah, sabzi polo is a type of rice that us Iranians make and it's tradition in the Persian New Year to serve this type of rice with some fish, some nicely smoked fish. Oh, it tastes absolutely amazing. Just, just look at that picture. All right, so the third dish is called zereshk polo. Zereshk polo is another type of rice that has zereshk, which means Barberries, I've never heard the English term, but it's those red little things that are kind of sour. I'll also put a picture of it here. And this type of rice is very, very common because it's easy to make and it also tastes good. You can put some saffron on it. That's why you see in the picture, the rice is kind of yellow and then there's the zirish or the barberries. You can have zirish polo with basically anything, whether it's kebabs or fish or chicken. It's a very tasty, delicious rice. Okay, so the fourth... Oh, Ami! Maman, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You don't know anything about Iranian food. Get up, get up, let me come. What do you mean, Maman? I can talk about food too. Get up, get up. I'm the one always doing the cooking, huh? Let me doing this thing. Okay, okay, fine, I'll get up. Sorry guys, my mom wants to take over. Enjoy. Ugh, ugh, Jamal. Okay, oh, okay guys, as my stupid son was telling you, the fourth dish, the fourth dish, very, very delicious. Okay, the fourth dish, you won't believe how good it is, okay? It is called the Gourmet Sabzi. Gourmet Sabzi, very, very good. I make it all the time. I make it for Billy Johnson. I don't know if you're watching that video. I cooking this Gourmet Sabzi. Number one, very good Gourmet Sabzi, okay? Eat some, eat some. Okay. You like it? Mmm. Wow. This is really good. Yes, he almost eating his fingers with the gourmet sabzi. That's how good it is. Now, I don't really have to explain in the gourmet sabzi. If you're searching it on the Google or the Telegram, it will show you how to make it. But sabzi basically meaning vegetable, herb, something like that, something like that. I don't know. My English not that good. But it's very delicious. Now, let's move on to the fifth dish. Wow, this dish. This dish is very amazing. It's called Chelo Chabob. Even the name of it makes you hungry. Now, Chelo Chabob Kubide, as you can see in this uh, mass massage, what is called the picture, is very delicious. And I'm sure maybe some of you have it before. If you have it, comment in the comments. And it's, it's very fun to make, okay? You put it on a sikh which is a, a screw, a screw in English, they call it something like that. You put it on, you put it on the barbecue, when you fan the barbecue so that it can work hinge. So after it working, you make it, it's cooked very delicious. Put some uh, rice with some saffron, as you can see in this picture, and just eat it, okay? Sometimes I just want to hug it. You see this picture? I, I just, I don't know, I just want to hug it. Bah, bah. Yum yum, bah bah bah, oh, chamara, but yeah, oh, chabob, very good, 
چلو کباب کوبیده Don't forgetting the name Even the name make you hungry Okay I don't remember what number we were on Five Five I think we just finishing five So the sixth one The sixth one very very good I also making this dish all the time It's called خورشت قیمه So the name coming from when you cut up the meat We call it قیمه You cutting up the meat Before in the history of Iran When the houses didn't have fridge like something like that We used to cutting up the meat And saving it for later My great great grandma teaching me that thing Because we didn't have fridge Okay we didn't have TV We didn't have YouTube We didn't have a stupid Amir making clown videos We had nothing not even fridge So then you add the lappe Lappe means yellow a split piece Okay, and you're doing some mixing and some adding and some saffron. You always add saffron. Never forget, Persian food always needs saffron. Okay, so after you adding these things, you can put some uh, body called French fry or some potatoes. If Zamani we calling it in the Persian, and boom, you have the number one khoresh qaymeh. Put some rice on the side, mix it up. Eat it, but just don't eat in your fingers with it, okay? Don't eat your fingers. So my son don't know how what to talk. He boring. Like this video if you agree that after I came, the video got much better. Okay, anyway, let's not get distractioning. Why, why, why? Oh my God, number seven is the best. It's called Tachin. Tachin. Why, Khoda? Tachin is just, is just so amazing. So Tachin, it basically looking like a cake, but it's not a cake, okay? It's rice. It's rice, yogurt, saffron, we always including the saffron, don't forget, eggs, chicken, and also some zeresh, the red things my boring son was talking about earlier, zeresh. And when you're adding this together, something like that, you adding it together, you get this beautiful, beautiful, looks like cake, as you can see in here on the picture. And it's just very delicious, okay? When you're eating it, your mouth just say to you, thank you, mercy, mercy for giving me this uh, Persian food, okay? So enough said, let's just uh, move on to the eight, yes, eight hashed, hashed means eight in Persian, the eighth dish. Now this dish, very, very healthy, but my son, he don't like, I don't know why, he doesn't like this food, it's called abgusht. So abgusht, again, I say it's very healthy, why? Because as I reading for you, this abgusht is nutritious dish, suitable for cold winter days. In Canada, always a snow, always cold, I always having the abgusht, but my son don't eat it. I don't know why you have some crazy problem. But this abgusht, it combines complex carbohydrate, I don't know how to say it. Protein and fat with the side dish of fresh herbs. Herbs, which is the sabzi, and some nukhud. I don't know what it is in English. P. It means P. P E A, not the other P, okay? Don't think dirty things. Anyway, you're mixing these things and you get abgush with some lamb and you having this dish with bread. You take the bread, you scoop it in the abgush, put some lamb on it. Finish. Okay, the ninth food also very very delicious. It's like you know on the Thanksgiving they stuff the uh, turkey, turkey. Uh, in this one we stuff the chicken. Okay, so we putting some yummy vegetables, some aluche which is very delicious inside the chicken, and you put it in the oven. You put some rope anar. It's a type of pomegranate juice. You put it on the chicken. You put it all over and you stuff it with some vegetables or whatever you like enjoying it with your mehmoons, your cousins, your aunt, your whatever okay I put a picture of it here I always putting the pictures my son he editing these things I don't know how to doing these things okay I just drink my chai oh and don't forget chai it is mandatory to have chai before after during when you're having these meals, okay? If not gonna have chai, then don't even have these meals. What's the point? Anyway, as I was telling you, the next one, I mean, next, the last one, we already at number 10. Whoa. But yeah, the 10th one is kind of smelly. Don't telling my son, it's very smelly. It's called Chale Pache. My son put it in one of his videos, Chale Pache. There's something I have to tell you. Huh, what is it? Many students have been complaining that your son's lunch smells a lot. We opened his lunchbox and this is what we found. Okay, let me see. Yes, yes, this is Chale Pache. Very, very good. Chale Pache is basically um, a dish of basically sheep, gusfand, sheep. So um, I don't, I can't really explain in it, but uh, I'll just show you, in, you this picture of it. And if you like it, you can search Chale Pache very easy on Google. 
you want to make it, it comes. But my son doesn't like it, so I know if I explaining it too much, he will cut it on the editing. So just, just if you want to see it, go searching it up. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go make some chai for myself. My throat is getting dry, but I'm happy I telling you these things not in a boring way like my son was. And I have to go now, so whatever he does in the damage jam, have some chai being alive, and next video. Okay, Ami, come finishing the outro. I have to go make some chai. Finally, mom. Oh my god. Oh. Hey guys, so I was gonna say the rest of the foods, but my mom just likes to barge into my room, not even knock on the door and finished my video but I guess maybe she was more enthusiastic I guess I'm kind of like my mom says I'm a little bit boring so comment down below Mama Tawassali or Amir who do you choose which one is better at making these videos don't forget you can follow me on Instagram my username is right here so if you ever do make any of those dishes let me know I really want to see it and I will mention you on my story and in my last video I said whoever comments pen or khutkar in Persian gets a shout out so shout out to these people you see on the screen Thank you for commenting, being subscribed, and having your post notifications turned on. If you guys want a shout out, the next word is Kale Pache. So go down there and comment Kale Pache. Make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on. And I will give you a shout out in the next video. Also, if you want to get your merch and you love chai and some other merch that I have on my website, then don't forget to click on the link in the description and check the merch out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. Damatun Garam, be alive, have some chai, and until the next video, Peace. Okay, mom, I'm gonna come have my child.